Hi folks, welcome to Carl's Vapor Reviews once again. Welcome to the video. Uh, I have a uh, re review for a tank atomizer. Now, this is an Aspire tank, and it is the Mini Nautilus from Aspire. Now, this for me has been fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Uh, this was uh, supplied to me by elegantvapor.co.uk. Uh, Phil and Mazen up at uh, Elegant Vapor. Thanks again, guys. This is on my Vapor Shark. Uh, I've got the stainless steel tank on this, which is an accessory add-on, uh, which you can also purchase from Elegant Vapor. I'll show you this again at the end of the video. And uh, The flavour and the vapour from this is brilliant. Uh, I mean, I've I've put some of the juices which I've stopped vaping back into this, uh, and it, I'm picking out loads of different flavours out of me mixed fruits. Uh, this is me personally now, and I just think the flavour from this new coil head is far better than the original head. Uh, this utilizes a single coil which is vertical and it's called a BBC coil which means bottom vertical coil and it, the coil has got wadding wrapped around it and there's no wick through the center of the coil in these new heads and it's a revelation So what we'll do is, when I've got the vapour away, we'll go down and have a look at the uh, kit close up and uh, we'll come back up to the top and I'll show you the stainless steel tank up close, up towards the camera that you can buy and we'll have a chat about it, rate it and stuff, but for me personally, off the bat, great bit of kit, this is a great bit of kit, so we'll go down for close ups and then come back up, see you down at the table. Right guys, here we are close up with the uh, Mini Nautilus package. Uh, similar type packaging to uh, the original Nautilus, the, the bigger brother. So we, what we've got is the uh, outer sleeve, which slides off. And then lift it off and we get greeted with a user manual, which is in uh, different languages and how to fill and strip down etc which is quite handy now what we've got here is the uh, we've got the mini nautilus itself with a 1.8 ohm coil in there a spare 1.8 ohm coil and a beauty ring or for your ego batteries so we'll take the beauty ring out give you a quick close-up Let's get the focus right. It's like a uh, polished stainless steel on the outside. And here is the coil. Now, this is a 1.8 ohm coil. Let's just get the focus in a bit more. That's better. Right. This is a 1.8 ohm coil. Now, how this is different than the original coil is this is a single vertical coil in here, or a BVC that they call them. They call it a, a, a bottom vertical coil because it sits at the bottom of the tank and the coil in there is vertical. So the coil sits that way and it has no wick down the center. It has wadding around the outside of the coil. And that mesh in there keeps is what I believe keeps the wadding in place around the coil. It's like a uh, it's like a mesh filter, for want of a better word. And down that centre channel there, which is the coil, there's no wick in there, no silica or cotton or anything like that. And the atomizer itself has four four holes for allowing juice to go into the wadding. Uh, you can see the wadding just through the hole there, it's white in colour. And it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four holes in there. That is your contact pin uh, for when it gets screwed into the atomizer. And this coil, I've seen a review not long ago, which I was shocked with. It said it was probably on a par with the older coil, if not not as good as the older coil. I don't get it. This is a game-changing coil again from Aspire. Uh, it's what we will, what I would. I've been vaping for two and a half years now, and I used to vape cartomizers. And this this is taken representative of a cartomizer, really, with the wadding around the outside. But the flavour and the vapour from this coil in this tank is the best I've had for a long time, a long, long time. Uh, flavour and vapour and throat it uh, this is interchangeable by the way uh, to the bigger brother Nautilus the big Nautilus so you can put these new style coils in the big Nautilus uh, I haven't tried that yet but this in my opinion this is just my opinion for this review is another game changer from Aspire with regards to uh, coil innovation so that's my take on that you get two of them in the package by the way let's put my autofocus back on right we'll just get the atomizer out if we can get it out that's it we'll put that package to one side now here is the mini nautilus at the top we get a stainless steel drip tip self-explanatory really Pyrex glass tank, which holds 2 ml of e-liquid. You can just about see them all there at the top, here. It has airflow control, with two nice knurled notches on to aid turning it. And it's got four airflow holes, different size airflow holes. That's the biggest. That's the smallest. Now, the smallest one, I believe, I can't find any information on how big these holes are, but I would believe that would be either 0.8 or 1 mil. And that's going to be 1.2 to 1.4. That's going to be 1.4 to 1.6. Sorry, 1.6 to 1.8. And then that's going to be 1.8 or 2 mil. So gauge what you can from that. I believe I always use it on the widest set setting, which I believe is 1.8 or 2 mil. 19 mil diameter, so it's obviously not as uh, wide as in diameter as the bigger brother, which is 22 mil. So it would look a little bit better with the Ego plinth on an Ego battery, not as top heavy as the bigger brother. On the bottom, it has a spring loaded 510 connection that's spring loaded there and the tank comes apart and all we do is we unscrew it the base from it's a bit hard when it's new or when it's been washed should I say and dried out that's that 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 and sorry if I went off camera there it's a bit tight the coil and the base so what we've got is the base the coil the glass tank and the top cap and inner section which does not come apart but it breaks down like this to aid cleaning and to fill obviously so we put that back on nice thick glass the uh, Nautilus tanks are and the coil just screws into there like so let's get me autofocus right Better. that screws into there like that 
don't have to be overly tight you know, when you're screwing stuff into the when you're screwing things on the uh, coil heads into the into the base and then all we do is we fill that up which I shall do off camera and we fill it up down the sides here don't get any down the center hole else you just come out the bottom and we hold it upright when it's filled up and we screw that back on like so and that's it so what we've got here is a 19 mil stainless steel and glass uh, atomizer with a bottom vertical coil so we'll go back up to the top and we'll have a talk chat about it and vape on it and I'll show you the the other accessory that you can buy for it which is the stainless steel tank with the funny motif on so I'll see you up back up at the top thank you hi folks welcome back to the top as promised this is the uh, stainless steel tank uh, which is an accessory uh, you can buy from Aspire or your local vendor should I say now I would prefer it to have all been stainless steel without the viewing windows because the viewing windows are cock and balls <laughs> it's, a, it's a penis it's definitely a penis <laughs> somebody's having a laugh at Aspire gotta be but uh, yeah it is a stainless steel and glass uh, tank uh, these are also you can also purchase these from Elegant Vapor I should go down now uh, you can also purchase these from Elegant Vapor uh, for £7.50 uh, the tank is uh, the accessory now the coils from there are also available in single and five packs uh, these BBC coils that are in here they are I'm just checking on the website now that the coils are £9.50 for a five pack either 1.6 1.8 ohm and £2.50 per coil if you buy them singly uh, this is the 1.6 ohm head in here which I've just purchased a pack of today The flavour and the vapour is fantastic. I just don't. I just watched one review and it's really shocked me on why he, he wasn't so. Uh, it just. It just thought he was so much on a level. I don't, I don't understand it because the, these coils are absolutely brilliant uh, for anyone who uh, is starting out or even for someone like myself. These, the flavour and the vapour from these is absolutely brilliant and Aspire have done it again in my opinion uh, the tank itself from elegantvapor.co.uk for the kit I showed you the close up is £20 uh, free shipping at it, over £20 as well if you spend over 20 but they're brilliant can't stop vaping it Now the uh, the only thing I found with it, uh, in my experience is, uh, it does guzzle juice a bit more than uh, a normal coil. When I say normal coil, I mean a coil that has uh, a wick going through it. Or in my experience, it guzzles it a little bit more than a normal Nautilus head would. Uh, whether that's be because it's in a smaller tank and I think I'm, using, I'm vaping a bit more, I'm not sure, but it just it does seem to get rid of the juice quite quickly. But that could be down to I'm vaping it more because I'm liking the flavour more. So, you know, read into that what you want, but these are absolutely brilliant. The tank and the coils are brilliant. It's glass. You can put any liquid in there you you, you want, you, you, all your juice crackers out there, your absinths, your cinnamons, 
uh, airflow control. I mean, I've had it sitting on my vapor shark now since I, I bought it. What last Monday? I think now. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. That's it, guys, for the review. I needed to do the review because I was I was so shocked on uh, the review I'd just seen. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Any comments, you can leave them on the video underneath uh, on YouTube. Uh, my Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus profiles are also linked up on the YouTube channel. Also, you can get in touch with me on the AAEC forum. Richo71 is the avatar. And once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next review. Thank you, guys and girls. Sorry, guys, uh, just a one quick uh, addition to the video. I forgot to show you it with the attached to an ego battery and that's how it looks on the vision spinner 2 uh, obviously not as top heavy as the original nautilus because it's only 19 mil but this is uh, how it vapes it to uh, this is on 4.3 volts as you can see it performs very well on an Ego as well, a very spinny type uh, that has variable voltage on the bottom. That's at 4.3 volts, and that's it sitting on the Ego. But well, thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my, in my next review.